Hey YouTube, these are my chestnut trees that I grew from seed and I'm needing to get these in the ground because I've had a few of these basically die off and then some of the ones I thought was going to keep growing just pretty much stopped growing. So I didn't end up with as many plants as I hoped. I got 34 plants right now and what's happening is, is these pots dry out really quick and if I'm not keeping an eye on them or remember to to um, to water them because we hadn't had a lot of rain um, they end up just all the leaves end up dying on them and luckily I've had two or three that have done this and then they come back with new growth and grow new growth and um, so I've been lucky not to lose too many but like this one back here there's a whole stem that died on it within a whole new stem came up out of the roots so luckily they've been somewhat resilient and coming back but I did lose a few so I want to get these suckers in the ground and hopefully uh, I won't, you know, lose as many in the ground. But I think they got a better chance in the ground than they do in these pots. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use these Tree Pro tree tubes. And these are going to be there to protect the trees from animals, from browsing them and biting them off. And... Um, this instead of putting like a wire cage around like i did my apple trees this is going to help the tree grow straighter like straight up faster and out of the tube so it's going to help get the tree above the browse level of deer and uh, it'll just kind of help stimulate a straight up growth and um, it'll also prote protect the tree so the way these tubes are is they come with five of them all stacked inside each other they get a smaller diameter as they as they go they've got vent holes through the top half for the for the leaves to breathe and everything and then the the bottom it just has one hole and they have these removable zip ties so that you can tie them to a stake and uh, the bottom has no holes so that you can go through and you can spray weed killer around the bottom and keep the weeds clear from around the bottom of the plant um, I'm going to use some T-posts, basically, uh, to drive in the ground next to where I'm going to plant these because I've got plenty of T-posts. They're free, and uh, so I'm going to use some T-posts. Now, I only have 25 of these tree tubes, so I've got 34 plants. So there's going to be nine plants that I'm going to end up just having to put some wire fence around to protect it. Um, and then that's just how it's going to be now on this land it's clay soil it's not ideal uh, planting for these trees so i'm going to try some different locations and hopefully that some of them will survive so i'm going to try some on flat ground uh, some on hills some on low ground we're going to try to to move them around a little bit and uh, hopefully we'll have some of these plants survive i, I hope they all survive so i'm going to go ahead and get out there and start mowing where i want to dig and get the grass real short and then we'll start planting these trees. All right, there is our first chestnut tree. We're going to get some water and we're going to get that watered in there. And then we're going to go ahead and slip the, t the uh, tube over it and uh, zip tie it to the post. Well, I miscounted how many chestnut trees I had. I ended up with 36 chestnut trees. And I've got 33 of them planted. So I've still got three more that I need to find a place to, to plant. But other than that, I've got all my trees planted. I've got them in six different locations. And uh, the ones at the front of the property, um, up at the front of the property where we mowed, I've got some. And they're the ones that aren't in the tubes. So I've got some up at the front, toward the front of the property. 
Uh, hopefully we'll be able to keep a better eye on them and the deer won't browse them up there because that's where we're actually staying right now. So, but back here in the back of the property, this is where I've got all the, the tree tubes around them to protect them. So hopefully in three to five years, we'll be seeing, you know, the, the, the tree get out of the tube and they'll start producing some nuts. They say in three to five years, they'll start producing chestnuts. So hopefully uh, three to five year period of time, we'll actually get to see some deer come onto the property uh, seeking out the chestnuts. Thanks for watching YouTube.